Hello, it's a pleasure to uh, share this time with uh, all of you, some uh, good friends, others that will become friends in the future because this is a good opportunity to meet a new people. Today we will be focusing on excellent centers and excellent platforms. And Peter Bodowin and Inyo will also be explaining in further detail how it works. So today I'm going to try and connect all these things that we've been listening to throughout yesterday and today regarding the European strategy. We've had different speakers talking about the future, our strategy and how we're working on vocational training uh, for the future in the Basque Country and to connect everything with this initiative. So I will mm, uh, explain this. Uh, showing you uh, the way we are organized at uh, Technica because it's important to show that we uh, uh, put in place uh, those things we talk about, as Jorge said yesterday. And I would also like to connect this to Joao's uh, talk. He talked about the European strategy and uh, excellence uh, centers and the European study that identified uh, different uh, uh, centers with uh, um, best practices. And we found, amongst other things, four uh, features that were repeated in all these uh, uh, centers of uh, vocational excellence and that um, give us a clue of how we can become a center of vocational excellence, the way in which uh, they learn methodologies, uh, skills, centers that have a broad uh, um, variety of uh, services, and we will also be speaking about this further, centers that are aligned with uh, regional st strategies. Ecosistema, pues bueno, parte de un ecosistema. Joao talked about an ecosystem, an ecosystem that is not isolated, but working in network and collaboration for uh, features that we develop and uh, work on in our uh, VET system in the Basque Country, and uh, for ideas that we, um, I believe, all share. When I explain this uh, through the uh, uh, Technica structure, I hope that many people from the system in the Basque Country understand how important they are and how they are part of uh, this uh, uh, system and how uh, we uh, all work together. Our center works uh, together with you all representing you, and that's the uh, reality. And I also want, uh, for those of you that don't understand the system in the Basque Country and Technica are able to get to know uh, how we look into the future, how we are organized, and the way in which we work, as I said before. These uh, centers of vocational excellence that have been defined and created uh, also work in a network, but we will be go into that uh, later on. This is the structure, this is our organization of Technica. We are part of the Deputy Ministry for VET, uh, two uh, directions, and in green Technica, which I feel really proud of. I feel really proud of everyone that makes up uh, Technica, and we focus on six uh, working areas. In the six working areas, you will see the idea of a uh, that that is embedded and uh, many activities and services that are developed. I will start by explaining the uh, management system for complexity. A uh, traditional education institution that we might have in mind with a specific hierarchy, directors, and so on, managers, uh, deputy directors, and so on, is designed with specific roles. And all these roles have functions that have to do with the uh, learning process. But we are looking to have a comprehensive center that works with a, a strategy in mind, collaborating in innovation and in international uh, projects. Uh, and these uh, functions, these uh, roles, have to also be integrated and be part 
of the, um, the schools and the way in which we work developing those new uh, professions. We have change managers, innovation uh, directors, and providing a response to the complexity we face. This is not a linear process that starts on the 1st of September and ends on the 30th of June, where it's exactly clear what we have to do. Different, different initiatives arise. We need to rethink things. We need to uh, foster them. So we have a great responsibility to support uh, colleges and centers to teach in this manner. And we're working in a pilot project of 24 um, uh, colleges uh, that will soon become 72 in the Basque Country Network. So this is one of the uh, things we're working on, but we also work in internationalization. We talk about collaboration, learning from the best, uh, developing and knowledge transfer. We all do all this locally, but also internationally. For many years in uh, VET, we've been working on student mobility programs, uh, teacher mobility programs. We detect and identify uh, specific needs in specific sectors. For many years, we've been providing support to the whole network to be able to develop this kind of uh, projects directly at the different uh, uh, colleges. And for several years, too, we've been working uh, with different European uh, projects and uh, now with a higher commitment uh, level. And this is the way in which we want to evolve because we want to collaborate uh, with uh, many countries also outside. Europe and always uh, offering uh, our best and learning uh, from the best and from these collaborations. Something important here is that we could design a model in which we try and develop all these projects from Technica, but we will be limited, limited in a number because we have a limited number of uh, professionals and ideas that we could develop. But if we work with these teaching staff and if we foster a real internationalization of the VET system, this capacity multiplies by 100. Each of the colleges is able to participate and develop European projects, uh, international collaborations, and manage their own mobility programs. And this is our real goal, to provide support and uh, foster uh, the system so that it's uh, international. We're also working on new methodologies, the way in which people learn, our students uh, learn, how they learn and what they learn, curriculums, content, but also soft skills and the way these are learned. For some years now, we've been working on this uh, area. We've defined and developed and continue to develop a model that we believe is uh, the uh, collaborative uh, uh, model based in challenges uh, for VET in the Basque Country, which allows us to include many of the soft skills like uh, values, understanding, and we include this in the different challenges because it's uh, flexible. And one of the biggest challenges when we, once we design this model is to um, implement it in the system that our network of colleges is able to incorporate and develop in an adequate manner this methodology. We really believe this is one of the key elements uh, to our future. We are also working in collaboration with uh, uh, businesses, uh, SMEs uh, mainly. Big companies usually demand from us a specific uh, um, know-how and specialists in so from EBAC, we work on this uh, specific specialization programs. But SMEs uh, demand more collaboration, development. They listen to everything we're listening to, and sometimes they don't have enough uh, knowledge, or I would nuance that. They have a lot of knowledge uh, in their uh, field, in their uh, business, but they lack, because uh, there are a few of them, and uh, know-how on other spheres, like, for example, digitiz digitization. Uh, and that's why 
the teachers, our teaching staff, our equipment could be a, a perfect uh, element to uh, support this uh, uh, SMEs. Because if we talk about collaborative learning based on challenges, which is good for our youth, collaborating with these SMEs is very uh, fruitful for our teaching staff. And it helps uh, the teachers be connected with uh, real life uh, situations in businesses. And we also provide uh, youth in creation of companies. And uh, it's not only Technica. Technica doesn't have the capacity to provide support to 1,000 uh, young entrepreneurs. It's the colleges that do so. We uh, provide support from Technica uh, to the system so that the response is provided by the VET uh, system. That's uh, one of the key to this uh, keys to this uh, uh, model that we have created for a vet in the Basque Country. And Technica, fortunately, is uh, very well known. And I wanted to highlight that behind this big name, there's many people. There's a full uh, network of uh, uh, centers and colleges working uh, with us. And then there's uh, two other areas. Then what has to do with um, uh, technological innovation and intelligent systems that has evolved uh, year after year. The challenges have changed uh, year after year. We started to work on projects that had to do more with industrial processes, uh, high-speed uh, machining, uh, robotic welding in 2005, but now the big, a big part of the portfolio we work with has to do with uh, cybersecurity, artificial intelligence, uh, computation, data, industry 4.0. So we need to adapt ourselves and bring new things to uh, vocational training, because if there's something that already exists, then it's not innovative for us. And the last area we focus on is that of uh, biosciences and sustainability. The way in which we work, our final uh, challenge and goal is very uh, similar. And it's uh, uh, like uh, innovation and intelligent systems. But we differentiated it because we understand that uh, working on biosciences in the Basque Country is something that has really grown in the Basque Country recently. And we observed that we weren't able to adapt our structure at the same speed that we uh, saw the strategy of the government was being developed. The percentage of things that have to do with health, aging, circular economy, and so on and so forth that was being developed in Technica was very low compared to the strategic weight that it uh, has in uh, the uh, RIS-3 and uh, Basque government strategies. That's why we decided to create a specific department or area to uh, work on this uh, specific uh, uh, field. We've uh, found uh, people to work in Technica. We've created uh, labs uh, where they can uh, develop their ideas. And we've been able to attract to our, our projects, um, colleges uh, uh, and uh, staff and teachers that before uh, didn't have so much access or didn't collaborate as much uh, in this kind of projects. So these six uh, areas or departments uh, together with everything that is uh, um, done uh, from the deputy ministry helps us see how we try and work on a comprehensive uh, system. Working in network, in collaboration uh, with uh, teaching staff, everyone in Technica, Everyone developing projects in Technica, we're all teachers. Some of them uh, work at different uh, uh, colleges and at Technica. Others just work at Technica for a specific period of time. And this is the real change. The real change is that we're able to understand that the role of teachers has already changed. What society demands from us is not only teachers, people that uh, just uh, teach a subject. They want active people that want to collaborate in international projects, that want to work with SMEs, that want to develop new ways of uh, learning, and want to be part of this whole ecosystem. And that's the real key. 
the change in role of the college teachers and those uh, participating. And uh, finally, before giving uh, the floor to Peter, there's uh, two uh, terms I would like to mention. I would like to sum up our system in two words. One of them, it's uh, integrated, comprehensive. We are speaking about a system that tries to contribute to society. Everything that society could demand from the um, vocational training system. What we do and what we're trying to uh, do is try to see what we need to do for the future and systemic. The second term is uh, systemic. This is not just uh, best uh, practices, individual best practices in one place. No, the whole system has to be able to develop and provide these responses. This is the real challenge of Technica, to be able to bring this system to all other uh, colleges so that they embed it in their uh, daily routines. These uh, challenges that I believe we share with other European uh, ex uh, centers of vocational excellence and that uh, we will get to know in further detail, uh, first of all, uh, through Peter. Peter, you have the floor.